welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jess. Today I thought we could have like a productive slash chilled day together because I've got some bits that I need doing, just general housework, but I don't want it to be like a too like intense like bang bang work, housework, like everything day. So I thought we could just chill together, have like a, a slow productive day. That's what I'm gonna call it, a slow productive day. But first things first, Stephanie is coming over. I don't know if she's bringing Marv or not, her dog. But yeah, I've, um, Steph's coming over and we're gonna have a cuppa and a little catch up. And yeah, then we'll be cracking on with the day. I have already had my breakfast as you saw in the beginning. The most unesthetic breakfast, but sometimes it really do be like that. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I love adding protein powder into yogurt or into just pretty much everything at the minute, just to kind of thicken things up, make it more filling, etc. But yeah, so I had my breakfast, I've had my morning coffee, just waiting for Steph to come over and then we will crack on with the rest of our day. <laughs> Steph has left now. This camera is so wonky. There we go. Yeah, so Steph has left now. It was so nice to have a little catch up with her. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've seen her. So yeah, like I say, nice to catch up with her. I'm just doing some editing of the video that I uploaded on Friday. It was more of like a what I eat in a day style day in the life kind of thing. But yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with that, how that's turned out. So I'm just gonna, I'm just about to upload that. Let me just export it. It's actually gone 3 p.m. now finishing off some bits and bobs that I hadn't done yesterday on it. So I just put in some lip balm on. I actually really enjoy this one. I think this might have come in one of those pretty little thing boxes but it's the Bondi Sands lip balm and it's got a very coconutty taste to it. I mean I know you don't eat them but you know you can like kind of tell what it tastes like. I like the lip balm. I'm not sure on the coconut. I've never really been a fan of coconut kind of flavors, smells, it's not really my thing. I mean, some people it reminds them of like holiday and stuff, but I just, I don't know, it's not really for me. But yeah, anyway, why am I talking about lip balms? So I've done that. I am gonna spend a couple of hours on my accounting course. And I've also just downloaded or purchased, or should I say QuickBooks, which I'm gonna try and convert my like finances and stuff into QuickBooks and try and work that out. I did have like this onboarding session where they took me through how to do like the bookkeeping side of stuff, but there's so much more on there, which I need to still work out. For example, trying to work out what section I need to put in my income and expenses and then work out how much I've got left after tax to pay myself, bearing in mind that I'm still saving money for like the rest of my tax. Do you know what? I, I never even thought about the fact of being self-employed and having a business or whatever. Taxes, I always knew obviously you have to pay income tax, it's just one of them things, but when you're self-employed you only make two payments per year on tax so it's not like deducted automatically off your payslip and then you've got to have like payments on account and all stuff like this. All stuff that I will probably learn or might learn in my accounting course, fingers crossed, because that's why I'm doing it so that I can work out how to do my own stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to work that out, see if I can figure things out because the bank balance that's on there is not just money that like come in but it's also money that I've still got saved aside for my payment in July. Yeah, it's all a little bit complicated for my little brain. <laughs> we'll get there in the end, fingers crossed. I think this is just about to finish exporting. I actually still need to make a thumbnail for this video as well. So let's do that. Let's make a thumbnail. Also, a few of you have actually mentioned that um, you like my thumbnails from recent videos and I've got to say thank you very much, but it's not as, it's not really as difficult as they look to, my disc is almost full. Brilliant. Yeah, it's not as difficult because I use Canva and I've actually got a subscription to Canva which basically has like almost like pre-made thumbnails or it gives you like designs and stuff and then you just kind of add your own pictures and then like move the fonts around. So there is still some kind of aspect of like doing that but it's um, not as difficult as it might seem. Also, let's just talk about the fact that I am one subscriber away from 22,000. Excuse me? I didn't realize that that's where we were at. I could have sworn that like two days ago I was on like 21,930 or something. So I don't know where you guys have all come from, but hello. 
Hello, thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. I can't believe 22, 22,000 people. Imagine all those people in one room. Mad, absolutely mad. Really puts things into perspective. But yeah, thank you so much if you've subscribed either from the beginning or you've just joined me. I am so appreciative of you and I hope you stick around. Thank you because without you guys and without everybody watching, I wouldn't be in the position that I am. So yeah, thank you very much. So in terms of thumbnails, um, basically I go on Canva and then when you type in YouTube thumbnail, a whole bunch of suggestions come up um, in the design thing. A few of these I've used before um, and you can just basically switch the photos out, which is really, really handy because these are really, I find quite like eye catching. Yeah, I quite like them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my files of like the original like raw clips and I'm just gonna take some of them and then take some screenshots of the clips and then add them in onto the thumbnail. This is what I went for for the thumbnail. I feel like it's got a little bit of everything on it and then just very kind of simplistic text in the middle. So we're gonna add that on to the upload. There we go, we've got a whole 54 minutes left. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, my Wi-Fi is shocking at the minute. I'm with Sky and I'm trying to switch over because this is a random topic, but not so long ago, they were installing the Virgin Media like super fast broadband in my estate. And we had a little leaflet through the door saying that it was in, it was ready, text this number if you're interested. And I was like, yeah, actually I am interested. So I text them and then I got a call off them like a few weeks ago at a really like inappropriate time for me. I was like busy doing something. So I was like, I am actually really interested, but can you ring me back at like 10 a.m. tomorrow? And they were like, yeah, yeah, fine. Nobody ever rang back. Anyway, so I tried to ring them again and they keep telling me that it's not available in my area. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. But one of the things as well that I need to like bear in mind is that it's all very well having super fast broadband, but what I need for some Somebody who works at home doing the job I do, I need something with a good upload speed. So it's not all just about the download speed because download's great for streaming stuff like Netflix and whatever, but I need good upload speed because this video that's going up, if I went to my mum and dad's house, it would take like 10 minutes to upload, whereas it takes like an hour. And the longer video that goes up, the longer it takes. I think the weekly vlog that I did a couple of weeks ago took, I think I set it going at like 9 p.m. on the Saturday evening to go up. It took the whole night to upload, the whole evening. It just finished processing in the morning before it went live. <laughs> I need different internet and then I might start doing like super long videos again because because I do actually enjoy doing long videos but in terms of the upload and stuff like I need to like slot out a a long period of time in order to get that video up uploaded and live in time so yeah I need good internet basically ASAP. I've been um, sat at my desk doing a little bit of my accounting course and Billy was on the desk. Billy is usually on the desk when I'm doing something at my desk, he usually likes to sit there. He had a little bit of a stumble and fumble and look what's happened. We have broken my favourite glass. Um, there's the straw that was in it. But yeah, rest in peace. I'm going to have to make sure I get all of this because I... Yeah, I'm not having Billy stand on this. Luckily, it's all kind of contained to one space. Sometimes when these things shatter, they go absolutely everywhere. But um, luckily, it all seems to be in this little area. So... <laughs>
okay so i'm about to head to the gym i feel like i'm back in the back in the groove with the gym now i in my last video i mentioned that i just kind of messed around but i feel like i'm i don't, I don't really know if i'm i need to set myself up like a proper routine where i do like upper body then lower body then full body as my like gym sessions for the week i haven't set that up yet i need to put it as like maybe a note or something on my phone um so i know what i'm doing and what machines i can go on and stuff so i'm gonna do that i think maybe tomorrow just sort of set that up when i go back to the gym after tonight i've got myself a nice little routine i'm saying mess around i'm not really messing around as such i am working out but I've got no kind of like like routine as it were machines in my mind that I want to go on I just kind of want to go and see what I feel like doing so like not necessarily like an upper body day or lower body day it's t technically it will probably be a full body workout because I'm just going to go on whatever I feel like I want to go on so yeah and then I think I'm not 100% sure but I might go to Tesco's afterwards or Aldi I'm not sure actually I think by the time I'm done in the gym, it might be like after 10. So, so Aldi will probably be shut. So it'll probably be Tesco. Um, but I need like a little stock up, but I'm kind of half think, I don't know if I can be bothered to go tonight. I do have food for tonight's tea, which is all I need. But it's a case of like lunch and dinner tomorrow. I need to go and get stuff for. I should probably just go, you know, stop being lazy, Jess. Just go. Because I know for a fact that I'll say, oh, I'll just go tomorrow and then tomorrow I'll come. And then lunchtime will come and I'll be like, oh. I haven't got any food, can't be able to go. So disregard the last clip, we're not actually going to the gym. What's up? Well, you decided you didn't want to go yesterday. Today? Me. Okay. I can't be bothered. Yeah, we're not, not going to the gym tonight, but we are going in the morning. That's the agreement. We're going to go in the morning instead. Yeah, but yeah, so Emmanuel's, I'm not going to show you him because he's stood in his boxes. <laughs> um, but he's cooking tea. What are you cooking? I'm cooking, um... So, spaghetti carbonara. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even cook. I'm just I'm making some basic rice. Uh -huh. Rice, beef, stew, simple. No, rice, beef. Not Rife beef, rife beef, rice, beef, and stew. Actually, I haven't shown him your hair. Hang on. He got his hair done the other day, and it looks really nice. So, I'm just going to show your head. This is his hair. Boy, so do you roll from? Yeah, but it still looks nice. But it's rough. It still looks nice. All right. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's making tea and I'm just relaxing. So yeah, I'm just sitting chilling. Um, he's making the tea. The only thing I have contributed is that I've chopped a quarter of an onion. So, yeah. <laughs> From a little Tokyo. Tenerife. <laughs> Tenerife. Good morning, it's the next day and as said last night we are going to the gym. It's 10 to 11 right now. Um, last night we were watching Grey's Anatomy and we got to a certain episode that I've been waiting for concerning a shooting. Um, I don't want to give too much away in case people are watching it but what did you think of the episode? It was alright. <laughs> what do you mean alright? This man doesn't cry over anything. I was well, I wasn't crying because it's like the fifth or sixth time I've seen it, but I just want to see you cry. I just want to see you cry. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't actually, but yeah, so we're going to head to the gym and then I think we should go to Aldi afterwards and pick up some stuff, yes? Yes. Pick up because we need to stock up on um, like chicken and stuff like that and also I want to see if we can get some little cupcakes for the Corrie Bob. That's happening this afternoon. We're having like a little street party this afternoon. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> so we're back from the gym um the lighting in here is not going to be great because it's like afternoon but yeah so i'm getting ready to go to the street party um i just wanted to chat about the gym because basically me and emmanuel go quite late at night to the gym usually 
And I do get a few comments being like, why are you doing that? Like, is it not a little bit too late? And this, that, and the other, which, yeah, I agree with like, what's it called, sleep hygiene and stuff, where like, if you get a better sleep, it will help with a whole bunch of stuff. So we went to the gym, it was about 11.30 that we got there, and it was just so busy. And then it was also ridiculously hot, which was because it was so busy. And then I also found that like, I was like hanging around waiting for machines so like wasting quite a lot of time i don't know i just kind of feel like going to the gym during the day is just not for me i'm definitely like over the whole like people looking at me kind of thing i've kind of realized that people don't like stare and stuff and people are there just to work out i mean don't get me wrong people do look around um, because i think everybody is just difficult not to just like daydream and people watch and stuff. I wasn't so concerned about that, but when you're filming, I mean, I tend to film with my phone because I've taken my camera in a couple of times and that is just far too awkward for me. So I tend to film on my phone and even then people still do kind of like look and they're like, what is she doing? Yeah, daytime gymming is just not for me. It just quite frankly is just not, not my thing. I've been really enjoying the flawless filter, but I've had a few comments from people saying that it really breaks people out. I feel like I have got some acne coming here Although it is the time of the month, so it could just be that. We've been to Aldi on the way home, picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what else have we done? Washed and dried my hair, our false tanned. The false tan that I'm using is this one from the Jacqueline Josser collection. This is my like ride or die false tan. I don't think I will ever switch unless they like stop circulating it and they stop making it and whatever. You can probably hear people outside because the street party's already started. But Emmanuel's downstairs watching the football match. I think we're just gonna go out after that. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, so the gym, come home, a false tan. Just gonna get myself ready. I don't really know how much of the street party I'm gonna film if any, um, just because I am acutely aware that there are young children outside and also like, although my neighbors know what I do as a, like know that I do YouTube and stuff, I don't want to be like that person with the camera. Do you know what I mean? After I filmed this like segment of me doing my makeup, etc., I might just end it there. Just because I don't want to make people feel like awkward. And I don't want people to think that I'm filming their children either because that is very weird. But I'm going to do my makeup. Look at Billy prime over grooming stance excuse me yeah in terms of billion is over grooming it is it is toned down so much like don't get me wrong i think i'm kind of like in the mentality at the minute where i don't know the difference or where the line is between just general grooming as cats do and over grooming having said that like i said in i think was it the last vlog or the vlog before that his fur has started growing back Thank the Lord, there is a little bit of fuzz where it used to be absolutely bald. One of the biggest kind of like improvements with him for a long time. And that is obviously that he's just obviously not grooming as much as he was. So fingers crossed, this might be the start of the end of that shebang. Also my eyebrows, I'm so happy that my eyebrows have like toned down since I got them done the other, the other vlog. Christ, that was so funny. They've definitely toned down. And I think, although I do like doing my eyebrows at home, I can do them and I'm not like, you know, I don't go and get them done very often, but I like to just get them like, put back to where they should be because I find that when I do them, although I just tidy them up, I kind of mess with the shape a little bit by accident. Yeah, I just feel like eyebrows are such a significant thing to a person's face. Like they really can like reshape someone's face. I'm so glad that they have toned down quite a little, quite a bit. And I kind of find that I don't, I nearly forgot to blend this by the way. <laughs> and I kind of fen tend to find that I don't need to actually fill them in like Nelly as much, so that's always a bonus. I love this blush, by the way. Where did I get this? Oh, this was, this was also f football. Um, so this was also from a Pretty Little Thing box, and I do actually use this all the time. And it is a really pretty br uh, blush. It's originally from a Mersey, Amrezy. I actually don't know what that says. From that company, and it is in the shade cream. No pink print which i just think is so pretty and so like subtle it's a nice like liquid blush let me just go finish up my makeup and i will check in with you afterwards okay so kind of ready now but kind of not kind of i'm kind of not so i've just got a like a jumpsuit on which i'm gonna put a belt on hang on How do i lose everything got it 
which I think was from ASOS. The weather's actually really nice, which I'm surprised at because all week has been saying that it's gonna rain and it hasn't. It's actually really sunny today. So we're going for a nice summery outfit for once. Well, summery, all in black, but you know. Um, so jumpsuit with like a little belt and then maybe it's like a denim jacket. Um, I need to put some like lip stuff on. And then not forgetting my perfume. This is my favorite perfume ever. And this is the perfume that I've always got compliments on. And it's just delicious. I shouldn't use that much, but you know. But yeah, we're ready. So we're ready. Um, yeah, I've just had a little check outside. There is a lot of children there, so I'm not gonna film and I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you've had a lovely coronation weekend and let me know what you did, whether you celebrated, had a street party or if you just sat in the house. Not everybody's, you know, bothered by it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love you, let me love you.